Hey everybody, today I'm going to give you a quick look at what I consider kind of an oddball goggle system. I'm not actually reviewing the full goggles because I've looked at most of this package relatively extensively in the past, but today I'm going to be talking about the JT boat bottoms for their Spectra frames. So I've already talked about things like the ProFlex and the Flex 8. This goggle system uses the same frame, it's the same great Spectra lens that's a paint to change, You've got the nice foam, interchangeable straps, lots of strap options, lots of ear options. Great, we've all heard that before. But what I really want to talk about are these bottoms. These are the JT boat bottoms, and they are uh, unusual, we'll say. These are a little unconventional as far as paintball goggles go. The first thing you'll notice here is that there is no venting in the middle at all. These are solid in the mouth area. So as far as breathability goes, these are literally as bad as they can get as far as right in front of your face. There is no venting right here, nothing at all. It's totally solid. But on the flip side, that means you're well protected from having to taste paintballs in the event you do get shot in the face. However, there are vents on the sides, and these are really interesting vents because these are actually movable. You'll see here right now they're actually closed, okay? But this tab right here can slide backwards and forwards, and in doing so, you can open up those vents to give you nice cheek venting. That isn't going to help a whole lot with breathability, but it might help with temperature management if you're playing on a particularly hot day. I'm going to show you on the inside here, it's this sliding red piece of plastic, and you can see you can just move it back and forth to open and close those vents. That's a quite unique feature of these goggles. I don't know of any other goggle system that has done that. So onto the coverage. You can see that the coverage in the face region is generally pretty good. It's maybe a little short in the chin, but not too, too short. It's lower than a Die I-4, for instance, although not as low as a Flex 8. And then the jawline coverage, it's somewhat short over here. But when you get to the back, it has this nice little kick out on the bottom right here that actually, for me anyway, does a nice job resting right up in front of my jawbone here, uh, providing a little bit of protection for an area that is otherwise usually exposed. I don't want to leave these on for too long because it's probably not easy to hear talking through these things. That's another problem with these bottoms. The voice projection is going to be very poor because, again, there's no venting. Also notice that these gray bottoms here are rubber, right? So these are very soft, very flexible. Even with the plastic inserts for the movable vents, they are nice and soft, so you might catch bounces off there, you might not, and you might get smacked in the face, or you might not. As far as width goes, these aren't as tight as the Flex 8s, but they are narrower, as you can see, than the normal ProFlex bottoms. However, I'm sure that varies from bottom to bottom, as I've seen wider and narrower boat bottoms, I've seen wider and narrower ProFlex bottoms. So keep in mind that even though these are relatively tight right here, there might be other pairs out there that flare out a bit on the sides. That's really all I wanted to say. I just wanted to take a quick look at this very unique goggle bottom from JT. These are the JT Boat Bottoms. Thanks for watching. See you soon.